Apple Blossom coverage on the NCW Live Channel brought to you in part by Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center. Caught in a conflict? Family? Housing? Business? Call Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center at 509-888-0957 for help. This week, we get a special opportunity to meet the top 10 candidates for the royalty selection pageant presented by Cashmere Valley Bank coming up this Saturday here on the NCW Life Channel. Our first candidate is Elise Long. Hi, Elise. Hi, Eric. How, How are you? Doing? Good, thank you. Tell us, before I get to this, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am an only child. I'm a senior at Wenatchee High School, but I do running start. I was born in Oregon and moved to the beautiful Valley when I was five. Really? Yes. Okay, so when you're five, do you really feel that you're a stranger to a new place or is everything new when you're five? Um, well, I grew up, I came from a fairly small town, so moving, this was a big city for me, and I was went to preschool with my best friends, and I just remember, remember being very homey and just close to everything, and your world kind of gets shaken up when you're five and you leave your best friends. <laughs> yeah, I imagine <laughs> so, because that's everything you know, basically, aside from your family, right? Yes, and we moved here and just for my mom's job. We don't have any family over here, so it's just my parents and I. You said in your bio that you're a nanny. How did you yes. start that? Well, I got my babysitting certificate, which is odd. There's it's a, a real thing. Okay. It is. The Red Cross when I was about 12, and I've just always loved being around kids. And then I worked at the Kids Club at the Rack, and that's how I met the kid that I nanny. Okay. The mom yeah. brought him how to the Rack. Two. Two? Yep, just turned two in December. Okay, how is it with the terrible twos and things like He's that? He's not too terrible. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's your doing, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, sports medicine. Yes. Uh, I know that's huge in your life. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on your recent a chance at an <laughs> award. That's awesome to be nationally challenged like that. Um, how did you get into it? Well, my mom is an athletic trainer. Ah. So when she worked at the physical therapy office where I watched Veggie Tales when we lived in Oregon, moved up here, she was the head athletic trainer at the college. And I spent a lot of my childhood um, in the training room meeting the athletes. They became like my siblings that I didn't have. And my mom knew Dale Blair, and so all through my education, I knew what was approaching me freshman year, being in sports medicine, and I just really gravitated towards it, and it's been an amazing experience. And I was a swimmer, got injured, so I couldn't be that athlete anymore, but still being on the athletic side of things. So you know from that side mm -hmm. about getting the help from the other side? Yes. Okay. Is that your future? Is that what you want to do, follow is, mom's footsteps? It is not. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is the million dollar question, but it is not the future. Okay. Um, why did you decide to do this? Why run for Apple Blossom? Well, moving here and seeing this different change in community and seeing how people come together and it's something that people really cherish and how really memorable and important it is to our valley. And I always looked up to the royalty and new girls in royalty and just to be able to inspire young children all over and just be open and honest and the leadership roles and it's such, and they have fun. And it's, it just seems like an amazing experience that I wanted to be a part of. You say your grandmother inspired you. Yes. How so? Well, she was one of eight children growing up on a farm, and her father passed away when she was 12. So she stepped up to be almost a second mother. And once she was 19, she had my aunt and then my father, and she was a superstar mom while my grandfather was in the military. And then when she was remarried, her second husband had a stroke, and he was put in a wheelchair, and she spent the last 20 years taking care of him. And She's wow. always been the glue, no matter what was going on. We have family bingo every Christmas, <laughs> and she's, just, like I said, the glue, and she's such an inspiration. And oh, I, what's her name? Uh, Linda. Linda. Linda DeMeo. Okay, is, is it nanny? Is it grandma? Is it granny? It's grandma. Grandma. Hi, grandma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's, since you've lived in the Valley for a long time, mm -hmm. um, what's the biggest thing missing for teens in the Wenatchee Valley? Um, things to do. Um, middle school, you go ice skating every Friday night. That's the one thing you look forward to. Maybe a movie on a Saturday or Sunday. But once you get in high school, you just really have sports. And that's really it. And you can only do so much. You can go like Shalane in the summer. You can ski in the winter. But I think just lack of activities for teenagers. Okay. What has the pandemic taught you? Never take anything for granted. It's, it's your life goes away it went over it went away over at night it seemed like I remember being in my history class my sophomore year and we were just reading about the articles of how schools were shutting down for a week and we're like oh my gosh that's not gonna be us it's not gonna hit us and then it did and it's just never take anything for granted and you never know it's coming your way hardest part 
about this process to go through that for you? Oh, definitely not being able to put all my time and attention towards the things that got me here. So we have our accomplishments and like I'm the president of the WCTSMA and being involved in sports medicine or on the weekends I'd typically be working basketball games right about now or wrestling matches and it's just taking away from the time, taking time away from the things that got us here and family of course. But worth it? Definitely. Okay. This is uh, kind of a curveball question for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So you have a choice of three things here. Okay. To skydive, to okay. deep sea dive, or just take a long drive. Which would you choose and why? Skydiving. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> why? Well, I go on a lot of long drives already, so <laughs> deep sea diving is scary because the ocean's really unknown, <laughs> but yeah. um, skydiving because you're free falling and just in that moment, you're really living in that moment and I don't think you'd have the ability to think about anything else, so you'd really be living. Interesting. Would that change, would that answer be different maybe if I asked you two years ago before the pandemic? Yes. Interesting. <laughs> Anything else our viewers should know about Elise before I let you go? Thank you for being amazing supporters and watchers and you are a big part of why we do what we do and why we get to enjoy it. So thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you, Eric. Elise Long, one of our candidates for the Royalty Selection Pageant, coming up Saturday live here on the NCW Live channel with our countdown to coronation at 6.30 and the pageant at 7, right here on the NCW Live channel.